In the previous video, we installed SCCM System Center Configuration Manager. And um, so in this video, we're going to look at what are the different options in the console and what would be the very first thing you would like to do in the console when you open up your console first time on your System Center Configuration Manager. All right. So this is Jay Singh, welcome to my channel, TechNex Solutions. Let's get started. So I have logged on to my SCCM server, as you can see. So if I click on my um, server manager, you can see under local server, this is technex seo one and I have opened configuration manager console here. Okay, so once you open it, you'll see overview and you have different options. So what would be the very first thing you would like to do when you open up your um, SCCM configuration manager console. So I would like to suggest you if you can click on without doing anything, click on administration and um, extend overview and under updates and services, if you can click on check for updates. For example, in my case, I didn't do it. I left my SCCM on for a while and I have received 1802 hotfix and um, configuration manager 1806 update. We will not be installing this update in this video, but um, there will be another video where we'll be installing this update. This is ready to install. So I can right click and install this, but we will discuss about this later. So this is the first thing I would recommend you to do, but for download this update, definitely you need internet connectivity. Okay, so let's go back. Let's click on assets and compliance. You will see overview. So let's discuss about what are the different options you have in your configuration manager console. So when, once you open your configuration manager console on the left hand pane, you will see these options. At the bottom uh, left hand side, you can see assets and compliance. You have four different settings here. So everything is just in these four different settings. So in assets and compliance, I'll go through these settings briefly. In assets and compliance, you have a few different options. So you have users, devices, user collections, device collections, okay? And these settings, we will talk about these settings in the later video. This is kind of more advanced. And uh, if you click on software library, you have application management, any applications, packages, any operating systems, um, software updates, operating systems, as I said, and um, other options as well. Anything you select, for example, application management, and you click on applications any further options you will see here on the right hand side at the moment we cannot see anything because nothing is available so let's go ahead and uh, go to monitoring this is here for monitoring the system or monitoring your sites and I have alerts reporting site hierarchy system status you can extend that and click on site status it gives you this information here and um, you have compliance settings as well and surface devices so these are the different options under monitoring and the best option here that we will we should discuss about is reporting so if i click on reporting there's nothing there click on reports no items found there's a reason why we cannot see these things because uh, we do not have reporting services role installed and i will talk about this role shortly and uh, there will be a video where we'll actually install that role and in administration, we have updates and services. We had a look at it just before. And then after updates and servicing, we have hierarchy configuration. I'll come back to this soon. And then uh, we have site configuration. If you extend site configuration, you have sites where you can see your actual site. And up at the top, you can see different uh, settings about your site. And if you click on servers and site system roles, and you select your actual server you can see at the bottom here whatever the role is installed and there's no role installed called reporting services if you right click on this and add site system roles and you have different options here whatever is not installed okay so here these are the roles which are available and these are ready to be installed on our SCCM server Let's just cancel this for now. And one of these roles should be reporting services point. Okay. And we will install this role in later videos. Let's just cancel this. So let's move ahead. We have client settings. That's the client software center will be pushed out to end devices. And these are the settings of software center. And uh, we will talk about this as well. 
and security we have administrative users as you know we have added SCCM as a full administrator it's mentioned here and the security roles and accounts and further different options and then distribution points we have one distribution point distribution point groups no groups we can add we can create new groups here in the groups you can add different servers but we have only one server so in distribution point groups you can if you have two servers you can add them and you can create one group if you're pushing out something to one distribution point it will be pushed out to a group and the migration and management insights further options available as you know I recommended what would be the first thing you should do when you log on to your configuration manager console when you have a fresh setup so the second thing is highly recommended is and of course you can't move forward without doing it is uh, discovery methods so SCCM by default it does not know how to discover devices how to discover users so we should give it some way where it can actually discover these devices comes under hierarchy configuration if under administration you extend hierarchy configuration you have discovery methods okay so at the moment you can see by default everything is disabled okay so active directory forest discovery group discovery system discovery user discovery we have these different options let's just go ahead and enable these options alright so to do that so you select one option for example I will select uh, forest discovery uh, right click go to properties and then enable so once you enable that you have two further options automatically create active directory site boundaries if you want you can tick that box it will create another boundary uh, under the boundary option here alright so but I will not enable that and run every one week okay so you have you can run it every one hour every one day or every one week that's up to you so I'll leave it as one week for now let's just hit apply yes so it will start doing its discovery now okay click OK and group discovery which groups you would like to discover right click go to properties same thing let's just enable Active Directory uh, discovery and add location so in location the name would be your domain controller name so in my case domain controller is technex-dc01 enter yours whatever in your case and once you enter your domain controller name and then click on browse okay so you can select one OU or you can select at the top so I'm selecting at the top and clicking OK so it's gonna find any group and then it's gonna import that group into our SCCM server we will have a look at it shortly so click OK so you can specify any other account or you can specify the computer account I am logged in so I'm logged in as SCCM and this is a domain admin account so it will have no issue uh, accessing um, Active Directory and finding all these groups so click OK and apply yes and OK and now let's go to Active Directory system discovery let's enable that as well click on properties same thing enable Active Directory containers so click on that Sun thing path would be your domain controller name in my case technex-dc1 can be different in your case click browse so I will be selecting the top top click OK I'm keeping default uh, select options to modify the search behavior and then click OK and apply yes and OK so same thing with users enable and I will add domain controller browse OK and OK apply yes okay so heartbeat discovery is enabled I'm going to leave it enabled and network discovery is disabled and um, I will leave it disabled for now and later on if we need it we'll come back here and we can enable that okay also one more thing I would like to mention about discovery methods uh, that is if you select a discovery method like for example for a discovery group discovery or any discovery method you can run full discovery method manually anytime you like 
So for example, if you have made any changes, you have added many number of users, you don't want to wait for a week to run it. So you can come here and click on run full discovery. Now it will add all the users or all the devices directly to your SCCM server. Let's have a look under assets and compliance. All right, so under devices, now you can see it has picked up PC-01, Technex-DC01 because we have enabled a system discovery. And under users, it has picked up users and other different groups, whatever the groups and uh, users we have created or they were already there. So it tells us our discovery methods are working. So other part we have to do in administration under boundaries. You will see there's no boundary at the moment. So we can right click. Let's have a look what are the different options for our boundaries. Click on a boundary and description. You can name it anything. Type can be subnet, can be active uh, directory site, IPv6 or IP address range. I named it Technex boundary and type I will make active directory site. And um, you can click on browse. It will give you your actually default site or if you have named your active directory site that name will come up here and um, what we can do is we can go back to our domain controller and just rename our site okay so I'm in my domain controller technex dash dc01 and then opens your server manager click on tools we'll go to active directory sites and services and we will rename our uh, default site okay so extend sites and here is default first name site okay so right click and let's just rename it technex dash main dash site and hit enter so we have technex dash main dash site you cannot leave any spaces between your sites so let's just close it we'll go back to our SCCM I'm back to we are back in our technex dash SEO one Let's just cancel it, click on browse again, it will go back and it will give us technex-main site. Uh, we we'll select it, click OK and apply and OK. Here we have, we have technex-main site which is a boundary. So in boundary you can see boundary name, type, description and group count says zero. It means it's not part of any other group. So if you click on group, boundary groups, here's the default. We can create a new one. Let's just uh, create a new one. Create new boundary group and we can name it Technex Boundary Group. And with the members, click on Add and we will add our Technex main site, which is description is Technex Boundary. Click OK and hit Apply and OK. So now it has one member count. All right. So if we go back to boundaries, it will have now one group count. And also in the boundary, if you have different sites, you can add these sites as well here. You can just right click, create boundary. If that site is accessible, you can add it. In our case, we have only one Active Directory site, but just in case if someone has more Active Directory sites, you can just add them here, Active Directory site, and then later on with the groups, you can create one group and you can add all these boundaries into a group, okay? so. That's all for this video and in the next video we are going to talk about uh, client installation and we have to add some firewall rules. If you feel like this video is informative for you, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to show your support so that I can create more quality content. See you in the next video.